Many civilizations have been and gone here upon our planet. Yet thanks to the time within history in which certain civilizations flourished, countless artifacts and historical studies can and have been undertaken into their existence. We are able to decipher their daily lives, their religious beliefs and practices, even their languages. However, in doing so, we have never been able to decode any knowledge or explanation for the countless, seemingly impossible ancient feats lost abilities of stonemasonry. No documentation found within any hieroglyph, literature, parchment, or other ancient text. Yet pyramids, polygonal masonry, multi-thousand-ton megaliths, along with countless other curious, clear signatures of a lost civilization's work exists. And due to this mystery regarding how these sites were created, we have to presume that those who constructed them were placed at a far earlier time within history, one that was prior to a global flood, possibly the aftermath of a near-extinction-level event, manifesting as a form of global amnesia and severing connections between continents, possibly for 10,000 years. Segesta within Sicily not only looks the same age as that of the foundation walls of Baalbek, and indeed the gargantuan megaliths found within the Trilithon, but the enormous temple is still standing along with its amphitheater, which, if we look to the still surviving polygonal stage flooring present at the theater within Delphi, a site we have covered in the past, one which is also littered with polygonal walls. We find more support for the theory that these amphitheaters, with their incredible acoustics, are also remnants left by this same lost civilization. Yet we feel the smoking gun are the protuberances which are still visible within its foundation blocks. It is of no surprise to us that its origins are hotly contested, with many academic teams concluding that it was merely the work of traveling Trojans. This regardless of the multi-ton columns that were so perfectly laid, they all still stand to this day. When one considers that protuberances are found on polygonal masonry all around the world, and that modern stonemasons are now exploring interlocking blocks, with some such as large Lego blocks already in mass production, it is no surprise that while many claim it to be Greek, others claim it not. This will not cease anytime soon. Many religious beliefs have gained traction in regard to its original purpose. Thus, conveniently, there is little chance that this contention will move forward. Who built the ruins of Segesta? When did they build them? We find the possibilities highly compelling. 